the next and final segment of No Filter in Nintendo Podcast Episode 1 is something I like to call the No Filter Rant. This is basically me finding something that's annoying me in the gaming industry nowadays and just ranting about it for a little while. Uh, you guys, Some of you guys might find this familiar for some of my past content I've created, so let's get started. So I've been following this guy who's actually a journalist for Kotaku, which is re- really odd because I've never cared for Kotaku. I-, I feel like most of what they do is just clickbaity and just really kind of terrible content. <laughs> like just, it's really one of the worst gaming sites in my opinion. But um, for some reason, you know, this they seem to have this relatively good gaming journalist. Uh, he's been following a lot of the Star Wars Battlefront uh two loot box issues and he even like discovered that someone was faking being an ea employee and you know he, he discovered that and he had some really cool articles about it so i was like you know what this guy seems like a cool dude i you know i could have some really cool um uh, topics to bring up from him uh, in the no filter and nintendo podcast so you know i was like fuck it i'm gonna follow this guy and uh and you know i i didn't expect it the first <laughs> topic that I get from this guy's uh, from this guy's work is actually a review he does for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So a little bit today I started looking into kind of what he's done on Kotaku and uh, you know his opinion on Xenoblade Chronicles and um, yeah his review was really kind of terrible and I, this kind of brought up my whole topic here which is about how game sites choose which person to review a game and which person should be reviewing games. Um, let me let me kind of you know I'll go into more detail here so um yeah so this review from the this guy Jason Schreier I think that's how you say his name uh it was incredibly negative the entire thing you can tell right from the start this guy had like a chip on the shoulder or something <clears throat> excuse me um yeah so it was a really honestly like just read the review it was really just kind of terrible uh, if you want to cringe, read it. it. It's just, it was such bullshit. And like, okay, again, I'll get into that after, but it was just such bullshit. So I go back, I look at his other review where he did of, uh, or well, not his other review, but I, I went and looked and yeah, apparently he also did not like the first Xenoblade Chronicles. So that kind of has me thinking, why have a reviewer who didn't like the first game in the series review the second one? Um... I understand that there might be, hey, well, what improvements did they do on the first one? But that's not something you need someone who hated the series to begin with to, um, you know, to, to review and tell you. That would be something that anyone, whether a fan or just a general person, could be saying, hey, you know what? They improved on it this way. They improved on it this way. They did this this way. You didn't need him for something like that. But where I'm kind of getting kind of annoyed with here is that you know, again, he did not like the first game in the series, so why have him be the one reviewing the next one? One um, one analogy kind of thing, that one metaphor that I would kind of use is basically me saying, hey, if I hate soccer, and my site told me, hey, you need to review FIFA for us, is that fair to do? Should I be the one reviewing FIFA, even though I already have this predetermined bias against the sport as a whole or the the topic or whatever it is of that game you know is that is that a fair thing to do should i be the one reviewing that and should it be welcomed with open arms from everybody saying it's his opinion so that should be the one reviewing it you know that, that's like a gen, genuine uh, genuine question because no you don't maybe you don't want just fans to review games because that would mean only the fans would be reviewing it and they already have a relatively positive opinion about that type of game but that also means that they understand where that game sits in the sphere of what that game is or that genre of game you know what i mean whereas if you bring a guy who didn't like the one beforehand into reviewing this one you're almost guaranteed to get a negative review on it and but here's the thing it's not because it was just he didn't like the first game it's because he didn't like the first game that was critically acclaimed that was just a claim to be a fantastic game by 99 percent of people out there if it was a sequel to troll and i and he didn't like the first troll and i that is genuinely generally known by everybody that is not a great game that is not a good game so having him review the sequel is not that big of an issue but again for a considered by many including me as one of the best jrpgs of all time the first game that he doesn't like and they bring him in to review the sequel 
something's off there something is not right with doing that and again it brings me to the whole analogy hey i don't like soccer am i going to review fifa hey i hate call of duty you're going to make me review call of duty uh, uh world war ii fuck no you're not going to do that but here we are i see on his twitter he does these posts about um he had a post about these people saying hey why are you reviewing the game you know obviously he's going to get backlash about a critically acclaimed sequel to a game that he didn't like yet why is he the one reviewing obviously there's going to be backlash there but all of a sudden i go on his i read down the comments of all this stuff and you see all these other fucking game journalist reviewers going there saying like yeah solidarity brother fuck these guys saying you can't have an opinion it's like no you can have a fucking opinion no one cares it's your opinion it doesn't fucking matter you have an opinion it's fine there's no issue with that The issue comes from the reason why are you the one reviewing the game if you already have that predetermined negativity towards it. Again, seriously, guys, look at his review. Just read the fucking thing. It is ridiculous. Just the entire time, the tone, the negatives, never bringing up a positive for something here or doing this here. I'm sure, I can guarantee, if I went into more detail about some of the other JRPGs he's probably looked at, he wouldn't bring up a damn thing about stuff that he is doing for this review here. So... Clearly, this guy, okay, also, go on either to his Twitter or on to Kotaku or whatever it is to actually see the headlines for this stuff. And maybe this is just a normal Kotaku thing, but man, they love to just get the clickbait going. And, uh, you know, and this is what's kind of disappointing me here is that the guy seemed like a genuinely good gaming journalist, but then I see him doing this kind of clickbait stuff. And it just, I'm like, man, like, where is the gaming journalist? Like, they've just gone down the toilet. I don't know. It's it's just really annoying me for that. And um, I guess one argument that some people could have would be that, you know, the people who have never played the games before, so they want to see someone who has an opinion that who hasn't been into the series or that isn't already a fan. And yeah, then they can get someone who actually is like that. But not being a fan of the series is not the same as not playing the series. You know, if they want to have an opinion, they don't want one that's already starting negative. Sure, they might not want one that's already extremely positive about the series. You know, like my opinion, my or my uh, my bias of really loving the first one. Well, to be fair, that could negatively affect it because I have such a high anticipation, or it could be possibly affecting it because I already enjoy that type of game. But again, if you want to have a clean slate opinion about it for someone who's never played the games, you shouldn't be going to a person who doesn't like the series in, in the first place. That's not the same. Not being a fan of a series is not the same as not playing the series. Sure, they're both aren't fans, one because they just didn't like the game, or one because they haven't played it yet, but there's a distinct difference there, and that is something that not everyone's catching in these conversations. Um, it's also different when he's one of the few who didn't like um, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles the original. Again, critically, highly regarded game. So why is he the one reviewing it? Like... like I don't know, that's that's what kind of gets me, those two points there. It's like, why this guy? But yeah, it's like the it's the constant negativity, and then they use those like the very descriptive paragraph of negative words to put that as like the clickbait article title that everyone's gonna see. Other sites will pick up saying, Oh well, look at this guy, he said this about this game. It's like they're just using this as clickbait titles just for clicks. And then, but then again, the, the thing that really annoys me here, which is almost a little bit of a tangent, but I'm going to go into it anyway. These fucking, these other reviewers that they're out there, they're trying to, they come into these things and try to support this guy, basically saying, oh yeah, fuck these people for saying you can't have an opinion, man. You know, this is the worst. You know, I have to deal with this all the time with my reviews, blah, blah, blah. It's like, fuck off with this minority group bullshit that you guys are doing. Go fuck yourselves. Seriously, this opinion shit has to kind of stop. Everyone, no shit, everyone has an opinion. And one of my favorite things here is I like to say, hey, The Last of Us is the piece of sh- the most piece of shit puzzle game I've ever seen in my life. No one should ever play this game. Fuck it. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, it's my opinion though. It's my opinion. There's not, it's not, it's my opinion. You can't say anything about it. It's my opinion. Hey, you guys can, you can't, don't, don't criticize what I'm saying. It's just my opinion. It doesn't fucking work like that, people. And, and you're trying to minority group yourselves and saying, oh, you know, we're attacked because we just have our opinions. No, it's not about your fucking opinions. It's about the context around it, how it's, how it's coming to that. It's, 
you guys are a bunch of dumb fucking white knights with this opinion stuff, and the opinion stuff's just got to stop. I feel like that's got to be just another rant at another at another date, but again, it's just not, you know, having an opinion is it's just that. It's an opinion, but it doesn't mean that that is something that's, you know, like religious and you can't really talk about it. That doesn't make any sense. But yeah, I don't know. It's just... It's just disappointing, you know, I was looking forward to seeing some more of the guy's content. Uh, knowing me, I'll probably still follow him a little bit here, but, you know, it's just disappointing to see just this clickbait and, like, just the constant negativity that isn't, doesn't seem warranted. Obviously, I haven't played the game yet, but just reading how it is, the tone of the review and everything like that, and then comparing that to something else, clearly he wasn't giving it a fair shot. And, uh, again, whether it's for clickbait and clicks, I guess that's just a Kotaku thing. But, uh, you know, it's it's just frustrating to see that, especially when, I guess, he's selected from Kotaku to review that game. And, you know, it's just, you know, I guess it's just disappointing. I don't know. Um, yeah, I've been talking enough for that. And I, I'm sure I can have another rant about the, the White Knights talking about opinions, opinions.